And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Hey, and a good Wednesday morning, everybody. Troy Mulling here from the Storm Team 3 Weather Center. About 13 minutes past the 6 o'clock hour, and we're still cloudy this morning. It's maybe a little bit of clearing, but some rain also trying to move in from the southwest. So we'll be dealing with that over the next couple hours still. We did add to our rain totals yesterday. Now getting close to two and a half inches for the month of November. That's uh, pretty close to where we should be for the entire monthly average. And also continuing to add to that surplus a little over 18 inches. But dealing with the rain today, also the steady temperatures will continue. We're getting even colder and we are watching for some snow by later on this week too. We'll talk all about that here in just a second. But uh, temperatures right now into the upper 40s, low 50s, 50 in Ottumwa, Macon, 53 in Mount Pleasant, 49 right now in Kirksville. Over the course of the day, we'll hold pretty steady with those upper 40s and low 50s. The cloud cover not uh, helping us to uh, get up uh, too much, but we are pretty close to average. So here's the setup. There's the cold front that's cutting through the heartland. That as I mentioned with the cloud cover, uh, will keep us a little bit cooler today. That passes on through. And look what's uh, right behind it. Another cold front moving in. That will arrive by late this evening. And as a result, some colder temperatures as we're, uh, as we're getting into the day on Thursday, Thursday night, and then uh, through Friday and into the weekend. Temperatures back down into the teens for our overnight lows. I'll have that for you here on the extended forecast. But getting very, very chilly. Today, temperature's not too bad, 50 degrees. There's the uh, cloudy skies, winds from the southwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting at times over 30 miles per hour. Big time cool down tonight, uh, 33 degrees, so just a degree above that freezing mark. Notice the gradual clearing, so we'll give it mostly clear skies, west winds 10 to 20, so those winds begin to turn as well but they're still uh, gusting about 28 miles per hour. So as that cold front moves on through, those winds will start to turn, and we're feeling the effects of it for the remainder of the week. 48 as we head into Thursday. There's the sunshine. So we'll clear out tonight, and we'll stay clear through Thursday, but notice an increase in cloud cover as we head into Friday. Uh, about a, During the day, about a 50% chance of rain, and as we head into later portions of the day Friday, that'll change over to a rain-snow mix and then all snow by the time we get to Friday night, that's uh, the snow chances right now, about a 60% chance. But that'll clear out by Saturday, 34 for our high temperature, so back below normal. And we have yet to be below normal this month, so that'll happen definitely by the time we get to the weekend. Lots of sunshine, though. That continues into Sunday, but still cold, 37. Those overnight lows are cooling down from the low 30s tonight to the teens as we head into later portions of the weekend. So it's going to get cold here in the heartland. We'll be right back after this.